Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing, extended, beautiful family, just thank you so much. Um, being able to know that people are sharing my videos as well as being inspired to see the things in yourself that you weren't able to see before is truly a blessing to me. And keep growing and keep learning as I do the same and many surprises are going to be unfolding along our journey so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content in my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is giving you good vibes or good information that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath going some, through some really trying times right now and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, um, my, oh, this, this meditation is really peaceful to me. Um, it's called uh, 528 Hertz Music for Inner Stillness. Ambient guitar meditation, let go of mental block, blockages, oneness. And I will go ahead and post that link in the description box below. And today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, uh, the real you is, is being unmasked by layers and veils don't be surprised of what you what you see and it's so true because it's like since we're going through the uh what is it that spring equinox the retrograde um even with the crescent moon the snow moon that we had um the strawberry moon all of these things is unveiling so many different layers are of ourselves like an onion things are being peeled back things are you know, being a master us, veils are starting to be just snatched off. Like, you know, you probably got to check and see if you still got your edges. That's how bad it is. <laughs> because it's like the more people that I'm starting, they're starting to subscribe to me, the more energy I feel. The more energy I feel, the more things are starting to unfold in front of me. It's just like it makes my life feel like like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Because it's like you never know what the heck is like unfolding in front of you it's like our life is like a basically like a cliffhanger right now <laughs> you're going through life and you're like you're, you're just trying to mind your own business do what you got to do have a blessed day not have stress don't have drama don't have no negative energy coming to you and bam you know people connect with you and all of a sudden this is being unfolded then it's like somebody comes with you with powerful energy this way and they need to connect with you and this is being unfolded because it's like I tell people, you know, anytime you are coming across my videos uh, or you're trying to understand your life as you know it, it's like I always tell people, be prepared because you're going to find out a whole bunch of things about self that you weren't aware of. And it's not the fact of you being ignorant or there are certain things that's happening into your life and you feel guilty because the fact is you didn't know. It wasn't meant for you to know at that time. It's like certain things will like drop into our path for us to be able to connect with certain things that is going to allow you to be able to see things about yourself you weren't aware of. Um, it could be something very traumatic. It could be something that's, you know, immensely makes you immensely happy or, you know, just anything that is just coming into your life is going to bring that Im impact like it's going to drop a bomb on you and it's like another movie to Tomb Raider <laughs> it's like when she got ready you know everything is like and Angela Angelia Jolie that's my girl even though a lot of people don't really care for her because I said look I like the character she play you know as a person you know I ain't none of my business but it's like with that movie it made me feel like that I can compare my life to stuff like that because she was just on a mission things is coming to her back to back to back until all of a sudden she found out she's and you know heading towards Pandora's box and all these different things of life you know Pandora's box is not supposed to be open but it's like our Pandora box of life 
as we know it. <laughs> Stuff starting to fall out, out, out the woodworks. So it's just a lot of things are starting to unveil in front of us. A lot of things we didn't know we were capable of doing, capable of having in our lives. It might seem like a shocker to you. Like, does this really exist? You know, like I started seeing visions months ago about so much energy being sucked out of each and every empath that we're starting to fall freaking dimension. Like even, you know, in conjuring up omniverses or multiverses. I was like, why the heck is multiverse coming up in my head? And I'm seeing the fifth element. You know, all this stuff is just really crazy. And it's just like uh, allowing me to be able to connect with people when I do my um, empath counseling, which I love to do. I always tell people, I'm going to just start telling people in the videos. You know, even when you're, you know, you're new to the channel, I welcome you to the channel. You know, there's people that need, you know, spiritual guidance and stuff trying to, you know, figure out their life. Hit me up on Facebook Messenger. Find me up under my name. Just let me know, hey, I'm a part of the YouTube family. I love to talk to you. And it's fine. I love what I do because it's just like the more people I connect with, the more things I, I find out about myself as well as I'm helping you find out about yours. And that's the beautiful blessing about things where things are starting to unveil to me where it's starting to be natural because usually if somebody wanting that guidance from me I usually have to touch their picture or something like that or you know they gotta tell me when they tell me about themselves I tend to start seeing things from their past life that they're trying to connect with now because there's a lot of times you know we might be shy we might be offish we might be that person that stayed to oneself but when your past life, you were this renegade person that people wouldn't dare to want to cross your path the wrong way or step on your dead on toes because it's going to be on and popping, you know. But it's just like we are that one that's hidden in plain sight. And I noticed a lot of us are those type of people with our past life. We're totally opposite from the people we are today. Like when we were placed in this, it was just like, wait a minute. You're totally opposite of the person that you are now that you used to be. And it's just crazy how I'm able to connect with people like that. And it's being able to show us what we are truly capable of. What what kind of our what our power instills in us. What are, is our mission? What is our part to do whatever duty it is to help this world out in some kind of way? You know, we keep feeling like things are coming. Yes, it is. Things are big that's coming in, you know, coming in for us, but it's also coming within ourselves. Because it's like before, you know, it took me to have to deal with other people for me to like, why is there, everybody saying the same thing? I feel like something's coming. I feel like something's coming. It is coming, but there's two big major things that's coming for the world and within yourself. Because there's going to be things upside of yourself that you didn't even know that you were or even capable of being able to do in your life. And it's going to be something that's just going to take you aback. And you're like, what? I'm a who? <laughs> I'm, I do what now? And it's just a lot of things because it's like a lot of us are starting to come within ourselves to where we're able to manifest things. We can think about it. You could be thinking about a person and boom, they text you or boom, they come knocking at your door like, hey, I was just thinking about you. Or, you know, you call somebody and it's like, how did you know I was thinking about you or whatever? They pop up the vision of them pop up in your head or you start noticing that your chest is starting to vibrate a lot more. You're starting to have hairs that's standing on the end. Like when you say certain things, like it's giving you that confirmation, like, yes, this is happening for you. Yes, this, this is going to happen for you. Or you're heading towards that way. You keep seeing signs of things that's happening in your future that you're working hard for. And you're just trying to see, am I really going to have to, you know, do I have what it takes to really do what I need to do to get to where I want to go? And they start giving you little visions, like little snippets of just little things that you're going to be doing. You're like, wait a minute, that's what I've been thinking about. Or things will be echoed to you along your path. You know, there's so many things like that is happening for me right now. And, you know, you might be placed in stressful situations, but it's allowing those situations is allowing you to be able to know your true self is letting you know the power within you because it's like I noticed that a lot of things are popping off with people as well as in myself that there's things that's going on that you know is not might not be truly pleasant but there's a lot of things that are, are pleasant and it's like you know it's triggering something just like I had to be able to go through that trigger just two days ago and it allowed me for me letting go of that trigger and coming to terms with it 
me being honest with myself, me coming out to y'all, telling you these things that I wasn't aware about myself because I really felt bad. Like, damn, I felt like I lied to my family. And I was just like, I was trying to keep it real and I wasn't keeping it real, but it wasn't the fact that I was lying. It was something embedded in me I didn't even know I was triggered off of. And it was just like, it took me back and I really had to heal myself. And I can honestly say I felt good about it and I came to terms with it. So I no longer think about that situation. I was like, well, hot damn. You know, I'm glad that really happened. And ever since that day, it has allowed me to feel so good about my life and about the things that I do. And allowing me to come to terms with, you know, things that are lies in my 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 life that you know i wasn't aware of you know and it just seems like i tell anybody if there's things that you're still harboring over when it comes to pain which is very hard to let go of you have to really dive deep even if it has something to do with your inner child because a lot of things that has happened to us towards our life is usually has happened when we were children that it can really affect us now you know and that's why it always hurts the heck out of me especially about my children because i see a lot of those things that they were sure you know i was watching a video of and i really forgot that video i need to go find it i'm gonna probably put it in either this video or the one i was telling you about opening up and seeing what's holding you back becoming clean about it you know i'm gonna go ahead and put that link down there and you know you see if these are the things that you have had to deal with as a child um that i've seen my children go with you know um and it broke my heart and i said you know if i need to powers to be allowed me to happen i really want my children me and my kids to go through therapy because I, I don't want that passed on to my my grandchildren the next generation i don't want that for them you know because i really want them to heal from that you know because there's things you know you can't practice like that picket white on the picket was, was it white house with the picket fence if that wasn't something you were raised about it was hard for me to comfort my children way I truly wanted to but I wasn't able to do that because I never knew how because I wasn't comforted as anything I always had to get over something so quick if my best friend died of 20 years I had to get over it people die every day I was always told that get over it people die you know so what you're okay you know and I always I never had nobody to comfort me I never had nobody I'd be able to heal myself with a whole lot of hurt in my heart I never was able to really release it so now it's just like for me being able to go through the spiritual awakening it has taught me so much it allowed me even though it was painful to go through the things i went through about losing my dad finding out who my dad was you know knowing you know we always had this connection throughout my life and i always wondered why he was this mystery man in my life all the time and you know being able to know that i can place these things in the videos i can really when i can look at it i can honestly say well dad you know, even though these things are truly messed up, being able to put my videos out for the world to see, to let them know who I am, who am I related to, the things that I went through as a child and the things that, you know, I'm, you know, taking a day-to-day day -day process of getting through, you know, allowing people to know, you know, hey, if she's going through this and I, you know, I've been triggered and, you know, went through these things as well, you know, maybe there's hope for me too. And that's the blessing within everything for me is being able to know that there's so many people that are applying, replying back to me, telling me, Rosalind, I never knew these things about myself, or I felt that these things about myself, but I wasn't sure. Or Rosalind, your videos really resonate with my life. Or Rosalind, you're telling me my life story right now. And that really touches my heart in so many ways because I never knew my videos were going to be able to put an effect on somebody's life like that. You know, I just, I didn't have that confidence in myself saying, okay, y'all want me to sit up here. And, you know, first I was doing video diaries. Then the next, you know, I was on a, this mission to find my mom. The next, you know, y'all took a curveball to my life and wanted me to start finding out. I found out all these mystical situations about myself. I didn't even believe until more people were, you know, sending me confirmation of these things. So it's just like so many layers of myself is coming out. You know, if people have been with me for a while, they'll probably notice that my energy is totally different right now. And I mean, I really feel good because it's just like I let out my kumbaya yas. I, I did it by, behind closed doors and y'all actually see me break. And it was like universe really had me put my heart on the line like that because I usually don't like <laughs> crying. I don't never like somebody see me cry, especially that ugly, ugly cry. I'm like, oh, I don't want to know. Uh-uh. But the universe wanted me to do that to allow people to know every day is not perfect. 
you know, it is not going to always be rainbows and flowers. There's a lot of times you can go to different people's uh, videos and they are never allow you to see them that way. But they wanted me to be able to show y'all every emotion that I, you know, that humanly possible can go through. That yes, we go through these things. Yes, we struggle day to day to heal ourselves. Yes, we struggle with who we are you know what we are you know why we do the things we do especially if you're a hey okay you already know your life is like a drama you know just drama within itself because we do the things backwards we take the hard road you know we reflect a lot of people we suck in energy we emulate what people don't like to be emulated as we tell people about themselves we learn it about ourselves what more can you ask for you know and it's just like all these different things are coming into our lives and it's just like for me i really feel like i mean i feel like i'm on top of the world right now because of the things that's going on in my life that i'm truly grateful for even the hard times that i have it allows me to really see that things are going to get better you know regardless of what people think of me in that negative sense or what so how many people want to see me fail you know and it's, it's a sad shame that people are like that but it's sad it's like that a lot of people are happy for me a lot of people are just waiting for my downfall and it's just like I ain't gonna let that happen because I'm not gonna stop doing what I'm doing you know I really love what I do I'm able I love to be able to put a smile on somebody's face and I said that's a blessing to me it's like so many people are like Ross I want to send you something I said you know what my thing is, I say, don't don't block my blessings doing that. I don't do this to have something in return. My situation, my joy is to be able to see that I can put some peace of mind in somebody's life. Give them a sense of understanding through all the crazy experiences they have experienced. Being able to put a label behind the things that even though we are not the type of people, that we are out of the box. <laughs> people try to put us in the box, but we are so not the type of people that fit in. We're not normal. We're not supposed to be normal we're not supposed to be labeled as normal but being able to have that blessing to be able to say hey you're this you're that and it's okay to be that way you know loving the fact that you know people can tell me things and it breaks my heart for them to think that I would think less of them because they are like this because they're so used to everybody else doing that to them I want to be that person that does opposite I want to be able to give you that comfort give you that love give you that uplift to let you know it's okay to be the way you are you know you're this way for a reason you know yes you don't took some curve balls in your life to where you, you know any other normal person would have probably committed suicide or killed somebody or just went straight bonkers yeah we our elevators aren't going to the 13th floor and yes our radios are not that tuned but you know what we're here and <laughs> we're here you know a lot of people might think the things that we do is crazy or not normal. I was like, but we're not normal. We're not supposed to fit in. We're not supposed to be labeled. We don't come with instructions. You know, so it's just like we're very unique beings. And for that, you know, a lot of things will come into your life where there's so many layers of yourself you are not going to believe. There's going to be things about yourself that will be surprising to you. Or sometimes it might not be surprising. You're like, oh, well, well I knew something was up with me. But it's like the more you come in comfort with yourself and the more you start connecting with others and when y'all start sharing you know each other's experiences things might go off a switch might get popped on a veil might be lifted a layer might be peeled back and just don't become don't don't be surprised what you find out so I hope that you know this was able to help you in some kind of way or at least give you a sign or even comfort you know let me know if you can uh, relate to this video it would be greatly appreciated or even give me your feedback of you know what you've been going through it will be greatly appreciated too and I would love to give a post notification shout out to uh, let me see who else am I going to give a shout out to um, Miguel much love to you lost puppy lost uh love i was said lost love uh much love to you as well and gabriel you know you're my sweetie as well and i would love to just tell everybody how i hope you had a, a peaceful weekend and you know start a prof prosperous weeks and i was much love and light and positivity as you possibly can you never know you know uh what your kind words can really take somebody a long way you know like and subscribe give me a thumbs up share it will greatly be appreciated and you know subscribe 
and know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And on, I'm always praying for better days, and there's more people praying for better days. And I hope everything that you're trying to achieve comes true. Much love to you. Peace. Be wild.